Hey, is anybody there? Anybody there? Can you see me? Can you see me? Hey, it's pretty dark in the back of this Ford Bronco. Let's fix this light. Let's make it brighter. Come with me. We can do it together. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Fred's Garage. So we're going to fix that light. It's very easy to do. Uh, anybody can do it. The light we got is in this box, so we're going to unbox it. So let's open it up and see what we got. Came from Amazon. Yep, we got a box inside a box. Now, this is pretty nice. All right, what do we got? Instructions. Always nice to have. Very simple. I like the way it's packaged. It's got a lot of nice foam to protect it. That's a good start to begin with. It's all nice and packaged well. Here she is. There's the baby. All right. So there's a few of these on the market. This one's made by a company called Leps. L-E-P-Z. I'll put a link down below. You can just click on it if you want to see it. It costs $39. So it's a, it's a pretty good deal. It's going to pop right in where the old one is. We're going to take the old one out. This one pops right in. If you look here, it's got three LEDs. It's going to have an LED facing forward. LED facing down, and more importantly, an LED facing into the cargo area. Because the back of that Bronco in the cargo area is pretty dim. And the best part about it is just plug and play. The plug that's currently in the Bronco is going to fit right in there, and it's got these two little clips. We're going to pop the old light out, save that old light if we ever want to go back to it, and then we're going to pop this one back in, okay? All right, so what are we going to need for tools? Very few things. We're going to use a plastic pry bar. You can get these anywhere. You can get a, a set of these on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Good thing to have if you're going to do your own work. Uh, we're going to use this to pry it out. We're going to have a small screwdriver. Why? I don't know why, but we'll have it in case we need it. And we're going to have a couple of alcohol pads so we can clean the plastic before we pop this one on. Now, you see, this one has the two clips right here. And these two clips are what? holds it in but it also has double-sided tape so we want to make sure we clean where the double-sided tape is if you want to add extra tape for security you can do that but um we'll see how it goes right now okay all right let's hop in the truck and let's get that fixed all righty everyone let's get that down on both sides of that light left side right side there's a clip we're going to use our screwdriver we're going to stick it in there and we're going to Try to pry the clip down, okay? And then we're going to go on the other side, and we're going to pry the clip down. And there goes the light, okay? Up here, there's a little gray button, a little gray plug. All you got to do is push this part of the plug in, and it'll pull right out that way. So let's do it with my fingers. It's easier. We're going to push the plug in, push the plug in, and wiggle it out. Here's the light. Save that light. Now, let's dry fit this real quick. I don't want to push it all the way in. She's going to go like so, okay? So, what we're going to do, so what we're going to do is we see we have the three pieces. I already started taking this off. Do yourself a favor and take that off before you start. So, we're going to wipe it right next to the switch and then right in the back. So, right next to the switch. Right next to the switch. And right in the back. Any fingerprints, grease, anything you got on there, get that right off. Give it a second to, to dry. Now we're going to peel these off. And we're going to plug in our new light. And there you go. And let's pop it in. You guys ready? To go that way or does it go this way? Yep, goes this way. So it goes with the... So you see how it has the bigger piece? Bigger piece goes in the front. We put it right in there. One side in. Pop the other side in. Hold it for a few moments. Get the tape to stick. Now it's a lot better. You have the reading light in the front. 
you have the cargo light in the back and then you have another light in the back and right here is the on off switch it's on now so we can't do it because the doors are open but we'll try it out so let's see how it looks doesn't get any easier than that what do you think much better much better much more light back here you can actually read something look at something and the cargo lights great i'll take you out back so we can look in through the cargo light but uh very happy with it it was 40 bucks you can't beat that so remember the company's called leps l-e-p-z i know i don't name these companies but that's what it's called i'll leave the link below i got two more videos coming out in the next week so uh both of them are going to be on the maverick though and uh, if you like this video please subscribe hit the notification button and the bell icon we're going to have uh more videos to come so stick with us okay let's take a look at the cargo area real quick that's a huge improvement fits there like it's supposed to be there now when you're camping or fishing or doing whatever you do and you need to get something out of the back you can see it and you can see the camera there too looking at you all right guys thanks again have a nice day, and we'll see you soon.